Hello and welcome to Quiz Showdown The Chase. I am your host today. My name is Quacker AJ, and we are going to be taking you through the magical world of quizzing using the Chase format. Assembled today are a bunch of contestants and also a chaser. So joining us, the first man, he is the first man of Glasgow University, which means he is also the first man that I hate. But speaking of hating, pretty much everyone on this contestants list, I hate anyway. So the first one is Andy Mitchell. Hi, how are you doing, Quacko? I'm, I'm, sure bad get to, I'm sure if you get to know me, you'll hate me a little bit less. Okay, I'll try my best. Anyway, <laughs> let me know how that gets on. So okay. coming up next is another man that I like to hate. He is kind of funny, but I still hate him. It is Chris. How you doing? Hello, I'm happy to be here. And Kwaku, I hate you just as much. <laughs> oh, such beautiful words spoken from such a beautiful man. Thank you very much for that. Now coming on to the other person that I hate. Uh, I hate him so much that when he actually moved to the same county as me, I decided to fuck off away into Falkirk just to get away from his uh, uh, spooky ass. It is Ross. Guten Tag, Bradley. Ich bin Fanny Schmeller. <laughs> <laughs> So, yes, waiting in the wings is the producer, the mastermind behind Quiz Showdown. I have no hate because I have pure love for this man. Daniel Campbell, how you doing? Oh, I'm doing very good. I get to just sit here and watch everything like happen for once. I get to just do bugger all today. I'm enjoying mm -hmm. this. Anyway, yes. everyone, good luck. Apart from Ross, have fun. <laughs> so, with that said, shall we go over the rules? The first round, you're going to have a minute to go head to head. Well, not head to head. I'm going to be spitting out some questions. You've just got to answer as many questions as you can. Now, we are playing for the budget for the ESSR night out. So, Stephen Wilson has agreed that he's going to fund this. Every right answer is worth £10 added onto the budget. And then we would go on to the chase. Speaking of the chase, I think it's time we meet the chaser. Now, is the chaser going to be Baroness McLeod, the only person to have any authority in the McLeod household? Is it a big red tampon McLeod? Who? It's just a big tampon. <laughs> Laughing at your own joke, you are the Stop. definition of Bradley Walsh, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> or is it Fanny Schmeller McLeod, the person who likes to sniff babies and leave a trail? Let's see who the chaser is. Oh, what do you know? It's Scott McLeod. Hello. I mean, How you doing, Scott? Who else in the SSR could it have been to be the chaser, if we're in all honesty? And it's quite fitting, Quacker, that you are the host of this because you're the only person I know who breaks and laughs at his own jokes more than Bradley Walsh. <laughs> oh, well then, no problem. I will take that. I think you're the only person that watches daytime quiz shows as well. <laughs> I know. I know. Do you do that when you're studying for other quizzes? Just for I'll put all that one in. But anyway, I'm for... Studying. I'm not David Hockney. <laughs> no, but he definitely studies. <laughs> he definitely studies. He definitely studies. Well, folks, we are doing this quiz show down the Chase uh, special edition. So we are playing for money for the big night out for ESSR. Sorry, business <coughs> meeting, I must say. And also added to that, Scott, you are our quiz show down champion, aren't you? I am indeed, and don't you forget it. Yes. Well, if anyone that has watched our previous quiz showdown or listened to any ESSR programs, then you would know that Scott has an affinity with belts. And no, I'm not talking about when he used to get beaten as a small boy, uh, but we'll move on from that. Why what we're going to talk up? about <laughs> what we're talking about is the fact that Scott likes his championship belts a bit too much. So if Scott fails to chase down the contestants, he is going to relinquish his close showdown championship. So with that said, let the chase begin. We're going to kick off with you, Andy. Dun, 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 dun. Are you ready? Can we have one minute on the clock for your questions? Now, re each right answer is worth £10 added onto the budget. Uh, you have pass available, so if you don't know the answer, just say pass and I'll move on. Are you ready? 
Uh, as ready as I ever will be, Quacker. Okay. One minute on the clock, starting now. At the Clash of Champions nine, Ric Flair and Terry Funk fought in what kind of match? Pass. <laughs> who teamed with Rock and Sock? Uh, who teamed with the Rock and the Rock and Sock connection? Mankind. Who was Shelton Benjamin's partner in the world's greatest tag team? Charlie Haas. Who won the 1997 King of the Ring? Triple H. On what show did John Cena have his debut match against Kurt Angle in June 2002? Smackdown. At Survivor Series 2001, the Dudley Boys defeated the Hardy Boys in what kind of match? Dale Cage match. Who famously appeared on Raw and Nitro on the same night during the Monday Night Wars? Uh, Bobby Roode. No, no, not Bobby Roode. No, pass. I've got to take your first answer. It was Rick Roode. Which tag team were forced to take their masks off at Clash of Champions today? Pass. That's time. No worries. Damn it. I, I, knew, I knew Roode's but I fucking panicked and said Bobby. <laughs> so the answer to that, the answer to that was Doom. Okay. What was the Okay, first? so... You have sixty pounds on the table. Are you ready for the chaser? Yes. Well, bring in the chaser. I am here. <laughs> Hello, Scott. Hello. How are you? I'm doing very well, and I hope Andy is prepared to go one on one with the chase one. Now, if he takes one step closer to home, the reduced offer is how much, Scott? Fifteen pounds and a freddo. Fifteen pounds and a Fredo. However, if he takes one step closer to the chaser, then the higher offer is six hundred and ninety pounds. Six hundred and ninety pounds. So, uh, do you've got six hundred and ninety, sixty, or fifteen pounds and a Fredo? What's it going to be? At this point, can I discuss with my teammates, or just does it matter? Yeah, absolutely. Crack on. What do you, discuss what with do you your think teammates? I should do? Do you think I should eat that Fredo now? Because I'm, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, I've, I've got a ton of roses here, so I mean. Um... <laughs> oh, like the one came going. off the roses. The one came <laughs> off the roses. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, what do you think I should go for? How are you feeling? You feeling confident? No. <laughs> right, I think I think we, we stick with 60. We can buy a couple of buckets of beer with that. Charge it yeah. all like Stephen Wilson. I mean, it's better than nothing. I, I second that notion. Yeah, I think we'll go for the 60 quid. Now, what's going to happen is, Andy, you're going to have 10 seconds to answer the question. The chaser is going to be sending their answer directly to me, and then we'll go over the answers as such. We're going to move on to question number one. What event did Rio win the AEW World Women's Championship? Was it A, Double or Nothing, B, Dynamite, or C, All Out? B. You've gone for B, Dynamite. The correct answer is, yes, it's B, Dynamite. Let's see what the chaser has put. Chaser goes right with B, Dynamite. Question number two. Who was the first person to pin Mr. Perfect? Was it A, Bret Hart, B, The Undertaker, or C, Hulk Hogan? I think it's A. So you've gone for A, Bret Hart. The correct yeah. answer is, is C, Hulk Hogan. So you stay exactly where you are. Let's see what the chaser is about. He goes correct with C, Hulk Hogan. So the good chaser moves one step closer towards yourself. I'm right behind Qu you, Andy. That's Question number three. <laughs> Oops, sorry, someone's trying to ring. <laughs> oh, that's that's Andy's lifeline. There is no phone a friend on that show. <laughs> I'll ring I'll ring you back, Granda. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> <laughs> so 
So question number three. In what year did Monday Night Raw make its TV debut? Was it A, 1991, B, 1992, or C, 1993? C. Straight in there with 1993. The correct answer is, yes, it's C, 1993. The chaser has put, goes correct with C, 1993 as well. So, question number four. What venue did the stadium stampede take place at? Is it A, the NBC Arena, B, the TIAA Bankfield, or C, the AT&T Arena? I'll go A. Okay, so you've got A, NBC Arena. The correct answer is, is B, TIAA Bankfield, so you stay exactly where you are. The chaser is put. Chaser goes right with TIAA Backfield yeah. Arena B. Oh, yeah, I swear. Oh, you all those, a lot of those, a lot of those arenas all saying the same. It just seemed like a bunch of letters. Like I, didn't, I had no idea. Uh, well, you got it right there. So on to the next question: Who's held the AEW World Championship the longest? A. Chris Jericho. B. John Moxley. Or C. Kenny Omega. Was it A? You've gone for A, Chris Jericho. The correct answer is C, Kenny Omega. Yeah, I don't watch AEW. So you stay exactly where you are. The tracer has put. He goes correct with Kenny Omega. We can move on to the next question. <laughs> Who was Daniel Brown's tag team partner in the lowdown? Is it A, Chaz? <laughs> Hold on. A, Chaz, B, The Rock, or C, Farouk? A, Chaz. Okay, uh, the correct answer is yes, it's A, Chaz. So you take one step closer to home. The chaser has put. Also goes correct with A. <laughs> So, moving on to the next question now. Spring Stampede 1997. Who was expelled from the NWO? Is it A, Scott Steiner, B, 123 Kid, or C, Nick Patrick? I'm going to say B. B? Yeah. Okay. The correct answer is. And see Nick Patrick, you stay exactly where you are. The chaser goes with see Nick Patrick. Oh, yeah, yeah. you tried so hard and got so far. <laughs> In the end, it doesn't even Unfortunately matter. Unfortunately for you, Andy, the chase is over. Sorry about that. Fine. Uh, I just want to quickly say that uh, Scott needs a life and needs to stop wanking and try his other hand. <laughs> Make it a little bit more the exciting. Go-to, you know. The go-to of the loser. Get out of here. It's so good that this is an over-18 show, isn't it? <laughs> it's lovely. <laughs> it's, uh, I get and it. we wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I need to watch more wrestling like you said, bastards. <laughs> 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 so with that we now move on to our next Victor Mami contestant it's Chris let's do it how you doing you alright yeah I, I saw um I saw Andy do it now I feel like I can at least try so it's, it's you, good you, you've, you've, you've seen you've seen the trial run so now this is the main event <laughs> yes yes <laughs> this I'm the big ticket alright let's do it Let's do it. Okay. So, uh, same rules apply. You've got one minute on the clock. Each correct answer is worth £10 added on to the budget. Uh, everyone at ESSR is screaming out for it. We will send you over some pictures to Chicago so that you can live in a business meeting. And I don't know if the chaser is still willing. He'll maybe send you a Freddo uh, so that you can eat that as well. So, let's see. Let's see um, I don't know happens. what that is, but thank you. As long okay. as he tells me the money for you know shipping in that. 
Oh, duly noted. Oh, All right. there we go. There we go. So one minute on the clock. Yep. Uh, your time starts now. Which former IWGP Intercontinental Champion made his NXT debut at Takeover at the end? Oh, pass. Damn it. Uh, La Sombra Andrade, who was the first one person to win both the NXT Championship and the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Oh, first person Seth Rollins? Yes, correct. What was the name of Eric Rowan when he appeared on the Brody Lee Celebration of Life? Um, oh, Big Red. Eric Redbeard. Dad! What does FBI stand for? Pass. Full blooded Italians. Who unveiled the AEW World Championship? Oh, 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 Bret Hart. Correct. What was what year did WWE broadcast a live episode of Raw on Christmas Day? Oh, I was there past. 2017. In 2018 Women's Royal Rumble match, how many of the competitors were not current superstars? Oh, pass. 10. Okay, so, Chris, you are now playing for £20. How do you feel after that? Horrible. That was awful. Horrible. Well, you it's, got now this, Chris. Time... <laughs> it's now time to meet the chaser. <laughs> Scott, what did you think of Chris's performance there? Well, uh, I don't know Chris that well, so sorry for this, but I didn't think anyone on here would do worse than Andy, so... <laughs> I question your your credentials as a central co-host. <laughs> hey, 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 the, hey, 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 The hey, funny hey, part hey, about hey. that Christmas question is that I was at that show. It was at the Allstate <laughs> Arena in Chicago, and I was there. And what an impact that Raw made on your life. I, I remember mean, it vividly. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> looking at the downward slope from 60 to 20, I'll be playing for the Fredo at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we now move on to the chase questions. So, are you both ready? Uh, yeah, sure. However, let's have some money on the table. Now, to stay exactly where you are, you've got £20. However, if you take one step closer to home, the lower offer is... Minus £5. <laughs> Minus £5. However, if you take one step closer to the chaser, the chaser is going to offer you... £700. Seven hundred pounds. Oh. John to discuss with your team. What are you gonna do? I just gotta do it, right? So, like, so if he takes a step back, it takes longer for the chaser to get him. Is that correct? Yeah, but you get minus five pounds. Yeah. Oh, right, so he so takes a step <laughs> forward. But the yeah, basically, you guys would owe him one. five pounds as it stands. <laughs> right. So, so he still owes me a bloody Christmas gift for two years. Ago. <laughs> I, I think. Like you take the you take the seven hundred and your one wrong question for being out. So yeah, the, the risk is higher. But again, if you're confident, I, with the I'd, multiple I'd choice, I feel better. Um, and I and I, yeah, screw it. Why not? Let's do it. Do it. Good luck. You're going for a seven hundred pounds. Yeah, yeah. Why not? It would do okay, y'all. Chris. It's a good night. You yeah. take a one step closer to the chaser. So. With that said, let's move on to the chase questions. <laughs> now, coming up first. Which wrestler was never part of the Shield? A. Kurt Angle B. Triple H or C. Braun Strowman No, oh, Christ. B. So you're going for B. Triple H. The correct answer is... At C, Broad Strowman. Uh, let's go over to the chaser. The chaser goes with. Goes with C, Broad Strowman. <laughs> Scott, how did you know that? Well, to, given I was at one of the live events where Triple H was with the Shield, Ross can attest to that as well. I was mm. so I've seen it, one of them firsthand, and I don't. I think I would have recall. I think I'd recall, you know, Broad in a massive, you know bulletproof looking vest so i don't know where chris's brain went i i knew it wasn't kurt it was a toss-up <laughs> okay on to the next one who won the main event of wrestlemania 31 is it a daniel bryan b seth rollins or c brock lesnar seth rollins 
So you're going with B, Seth Rollins? Yes. The correct answer is B, Seth Rollins. So you take one step closer to home. Oh. The chaser is put. He goes correct with B, Seth Rollins. So on to the next one. CM Punk wore the t-shirt of which Hall of Fame superstar during the pipe bomb? Is it A, Stone Cold Steve Austin, B, Bret Hart, or C, Rowdy Roddy Piper? Stone Cold Steve Austin. It was the one with the skull on the front. Or the back. No, it's on the front. Yeah, it's Stone Cold. The correct answer is... Yes, it's A, Stone Cold Steve Austin, so you take a step closer to home. The chaser's put... Also goes correct with Stone Cold Steve Austin. Next Without question. Anything from this experience, we know that somewhere on that shirt there was a skull. Where we don't know. <laughs> yes. Somewhere. I own the shirt. There. It's in. It's in my closet somewhere. That's the only reason I bought it. There we go. There we go. On to the next one. Who was the guest referee when Randy Orton cashed in his money bank money in the bank contract on Daniel Bryan? Is it A. Shane McMahon, B. Triple H? Or C, Stephanie McMahon. Now this one is Triple H. Okay, so you go with B, Triple H. The correct answer is... Is B, Triple H. So you take one step closer to home. The chasers goes with... Also B, Triple H. And on to the next one. Who was the first woman to win championships in NXT and the main roster? Is it A... Charlotte Flair, B, AJ Lee, or C, Paige? Ah, this is a total guess. Paige, final answer. Okay. So you go with C? Yes. The correct answer is, is C, Paige. So we go over to the chaser, the chaser's put. Also goes correct with Paige. You're doing better, Chris. Well done. Oh. That money is a great <laughs> motivator. I know, right? <laughs> On to the next question. Who ended John Cena's record-breaking 16th world title reign to become WWE Champion? Is it A, Dean Ambrose, B, Bray Wyatt, or C, Randy Orton? If I'm not mistaken, it's Bray Wyatt. Okay. So your goal would be Bray Wyatt, the answer is? Yes, it's B, Bray Wyatt, so you take one step closer to home, and you're foot through to the next round with £700, Chris. <laughs> oh, my God. So, oh my God, Scott, awful. what do you think of that performance there? Uh, that was very good. Again, like I said, the money is a clear motivator, mm. and, you know, at least you've got something after £20 fucking pounds. <laughs> right, I need to, need to do better after that. Poor, very poor opening round, but we're good. That was good. You done well. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> congratulations there. Chris is through to the final chase and has added seven hundred pounds on to the final score. Now we move on to somebody who's last at very least. It is Ross mm -hmm. McLeod. Mm -hmm. Night me last and least after those two performances. <laughs> I mean, you're doing the same team. Seven hundred pounds. <laughs> not anymore, you know. Not, not anymore. Every man for himself. <laughs> so you're obviously going to be going up against your brother does that have any nervous trepidations or anything at all no look at him he's Ralph Wiggum in puberty <laughs> <laughs> okay with that said can we have one minute on the clock same rules apply 10 pounds for each correct answer if you don't know just say pass okay go cool. So, what position did Orlando Jordan hold in JBL's cabinet? Uh, Chief of Staff. Who won the Deadly Game Tournament? The Rock. Who played the fake Undertaker at SummerSlam 1994? Brian Adams, not the singer. <laughs> what, at which pay-per-view did Kurt Angle's head get shaved? Uh, Judgment Day 02. Who storyline injured Trish Stratus at Backlash 2005? Viscera. <laughs> In which feature film did Randy Savage play a wrestler called Bonzo? Spider-Man. What celebrity did D'Lo Brown save from Jeff Jarrett? Ben Stiller. 
Dick Rawless is the former name of which current SmackDown superstar? Not got a clue. Mad Cat Moss. Who ended Kurt Angle's undefeated streak? A uh, Steve Blackman. Wrong Taz. Who said they were going to choppy choppy or PP? I can't tell you about Venus. No, who said it? Oh, a uh, Dick Togo. That nah, that nah, Mister Yamaguchi. Nah. Uh, that's time anyway. So, if my reckoning is correct, that is <laughs> seventy pounds added on to <laughs> the board there. So, congratulations, there, Ross. Thank you very now, much. Now, let's bring in the chaser. So, Scott, what did you think of Ross's performance there? More respectable, but mind you, he had a low bar to build from given his teammate performances. Fight to talk there. Ross, you're up against them. Any nervousness, anything at all? Sorry, I wasn't listening to him whatsoever. Okay. I usually tune him out. <laughs> no problem, no problem. I think that's got my answer there. So... There is £70 on the table for Ross right now. However, if you were to decide to take a step closer to home, the lower offer, the chaser will offer you. Hold on, before I make my buddy offer, if I can start tuning him out, that's until he needs somebody to be a guest host or, oh, can you edit this podcast as episode essential for me? Because I can't be asked to learn how to edit. <laughs> You're a grown man. Yes, with grown man interest. I mean, shut up and edit, bitch. Now hurry up and offer me something. I will offer you ten pounds and a can of strong bow. <laughs> ten pounds and a can of strong bow. However, to take one step closer to the chaser, the higher offer is one thousand pounds. One thousand pounds. Ross, discuss with your team. So, so can I, can I ask you, if I step one step closer? He needs six to get. I need six wrong or something, don't I? To not get home. Well, uh, if you take one step close, closer to the chaser, if he gets it right in two and you get nothing right, then he's chased you down. Right. Uh, I'll stay with him. Um... Okay, so we're playing for £70. He don't that. need no advice. I mean, <laughs> you scratch me, so I don't need no good advice. <laughs> <laughs> That's always one-man show is Ross. <laughs> With that said, folks, the chase is now on. Coming up with the first question. Which Florida city hosted NXT TakeOver The End? A. Tampa B. Winter Park or C. Miami? A. B. Winter Park. Okay, so you go B. Winter Park. The correct answer is yes, it's B. Winter Park. The chaser goes with also be Winter Park there. The Uniondale of the Florida oh. area. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Which tag team won the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic at NXT TakeOver Respect? A. Finn Balor and Samoa Joe. B. The Revival. Or C. American Alpha. A. A. Balor and Joe. You go with A. Balor and Joe. Correct answer is goes right with A and the chasers put also A Finn Balor and Spojo. On to the next one. Which NXT male wrestler won NXT male superstar of the year 2016? A Shinsuke Nakamura, B Samoa Joe, or C Finn Balor? 2016, you said? Yes. I uh, I'll go. What, what option was Balor? C. I'll go C, please. Okay, so you go C for Balor. The correct answer is A. Shinsuke Nakamura. So you stay exactly where you are. The chaser goes with A. Shinsuke Nakamura. So he takes one step closer to you, Ross. There. On to the next one. Who was the first WCW wrestler to appear on WWE TV after the demise of WCW? A. Booker T. B. DDP. Or C. Lance Storm. 
gonna go B D D P. Okay, so the chaser goes with B D D. No, I mean the, Ross goes with B D D P. The correct answer is at C Land Store. Oh. C is the exactly where you are. The chaser goes with C Land Store. I know, I remember it was like a random one, so I just went with Storm. I remember Hugh Morris showing up, so if you no, said thought, Hugh I Morris... Hugh Morris well. I, 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 I thought it was going to be him, because I was like, what the hell is Hugh Morris doing here? But we had to be serious <laughs> for a moment and go with the yeah. right answer, which is Lance Storm. And WCW and WWE fans united and said, who the fuck is Hugh Morris? <laughs> <laughs> okay, folks, on to the next one. NXT was a trademark name that was originally filed by which promotion? A. RevPro, B. Shikara, or C. Scottish Wrestling Alliance? C. Scottish Wrestling Alliance. Okay, so lock that in. Correct answer is C. Scottish Wrestling Alliance. So you take one step closer to home. The chaser right. goes with C. Scottish Wrestling Alliance. Have an interesting fact, that one. How did Chris Jericho define the undisputed championship against at Royal Rumble 2002? A. The Rock B. Stone Cold Steve Austin or C. Triple H A. The Rock Okay, so you go with A. The Rock. The correct answer is as he confidently sips his drink <laughs> A. The Rock So you think that's your home free so <laughs> You've added on seventy pounds onto the budget, so you guys are now playing for seven hundred and seventy pounds. Scott, what do you think? Thousand. Could have had an extra thousand. Could have had an extra thousand. You could have had the extra thousand there. Stephen Wilson would have found some way to weasel out of a thousand pound. At least with seventy pound, we can just get Gary and Derek to tip him upside down and empty his pockets. <laughs> Uh, you'll probably need to add in a sofa onto the tipping over to get that kind of cash as well. Dun, 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 dun. With that now, we've got Chris and we've got Ross home safe, now ready for the final chase. Prepare to play for £770 of the business the meeting, night time, whatever you want to call it, ESSR. However, the added thing is that if... Chris or Ross can't be chased down, then Scott will be forced to relinquish his quiz showdown championship. Scott, how confident do you feel going into this? I'm sure Ross will carry Chris to a decent performance in the final chase, but <laughs> I am confident in my own abilities that I can uh, I can I can get catch up to them because well, money means nothing to me. The quiz showdown title, that's what I'm playing for. Okay. He's like a 2000 Triple H. 2000 Triple H once cut a promo while stood next to his wife and pointed to the WWE title and went, this is the most important thing in my life. And <laughs> GR just kind of went, you're stood next to your wife. Just <laughs> Stephanie's not a thing. As Jerry Lawler pointed out, she's a human being. <laughs> uh, debatable. Anyway. Uh... So with the final chase, because you brought two people home, you at you automatically get a two-step advantage against the chaser. We're going to have two minutes on the clock. Answer as many questions as you can. You just shout it out to me. If you are both unsure, one of you just shouts pass, and I'll move on. Oh, all we're playing together. Of... Yes, you're playing together. Okay. So all the best of luck to you both. Right, so sorry, we're... so the two minutes are for both of us? Together, yes. yeah. Right, okay, okay. So you need to work together as a team and make sure that you're saying the right answer. And if one of you is stumbling, just say pass. Okay. Okay. So can I have two minutes on the clock? Uh, your time starts. Now, Brittany Aubert is the real name of which AAW official? Aubrey Edwards. Correct. Nice. Which wrestler was going to shock the world but immediately fell? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> True or false, the Rockers have never been tag team champions. True. Correct. Name one of the Jackass stars who had an altercation with Umaga. Steve Correct. Who was the first WWF light heavyweight champion? Takamichi Noku. 
Correct. Nice. What was the first name of Cesaro before it got dropped? Antonio. Antonio. Correct. What were the names? Of, what's the name of Nakamura's theme song? House of the Rising Sun. I'll accept. Who's the Who's the host of Happy Talk? Happy Gordon. <laughs> Correct. Who's the current Discovery Wrestling Wide Division Champion? Joe Henry. Correct. Nice. Who won the Gimmick Battle Royal? Oh, Iron Sheik. He'll make his way around this year. Who won the Cruiserweight Championship at WrestleMania 34? A... Uh, Cedric oh, Alexander. Yeah. Correct. What Mexican promotion does AEW have a partnership with? AAA. Correct. Of the current champions in AEW, who's had their belt the shortest? Uh, Jungle Express, uh, Jurassic Express. No, yeah, no. Sabah Guevara. Who oh, went oh. into the celebrity wing of the Hall of Fame 2020? Uh, William Shatner. Oh, fuck. I'll accept that, Chris. In the oh, pounds, in pounds, what's the weight limit of a cruiser weight? 205. Correct. Kenneth Crawford was the original name of which member of the Street Profits? Uh, Mantis Ford? Correct. Who was the manager of the Kabuki Warriors? That, that's time. Page. <laughs> yes, it was Page, but that doesn't count. It was after wow. time. But you were, it, I just you to know that I knew, damn it. <laughs> no points. <laughs> Chris and Ross, you've managed to put in 17 there in the two minutes. Do you think Scott can hunt you and chase you down? Yeah. I mean, I can make faces and do like a Jimmy Carr during eight out of 10 cats does countdown and try to distract him, but I wouldn't put it past him getting 17 in two minutes. <laughs> Okay. Uh, now the added one. thing is though, if Scott passes or uh, gets an answer wrong, the time is stopped, and then you guys have the opportunity to put him back one space if you answer that question correctly. Okay. Right. Okay. All so right. now, seventeen to chase down two minutes. How you feeling, Scott? Getting the last of my drink. Get me sure my foot's not all dry before we get started. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, and the time begins now. What city would you find the WWE UK Performance Center? Uh, London. Correct. Which British comedian appeared on AEW Double or Nothing 2019? Correct. Who won the first Money in the Bank event match? Uh, Kane. Correct. Which football team does Triple H support? West Ham. Correct. Who is the first SmackDown Women's Champion? Becky Lynch. Correct. What year did WrestleMania begin? 1985. Correct. Who is the current holder of the Diamond Dozen ring? Uh, MGF. Correct. At what age did Brock Lesnar win his first WWE title? Uh, 25. Correct. Which superstar's entrance music quote, they broke the mold when they made me? Bill Sigler. Correct. The party foul is the finishing move of which wrestler? Adam Rose. Correct. Name the rock band who performed Alex Riley's Say It to My Face theme? Uh, Downstate. Correct. Which ring announcer sent an audition video for Tough Enough and was then aired on a 2001 episode of SmackDown? No clue. Okay, stop the clock there. We're going to throw that over to Ross and Chris, so I'll repeat it. Which ring announcer sent an audition video for Tough Enough and was then aired on a 2001 episode of SmackDown? Uh, do you know, Chris? Because if not, I'm going to take a guess. Okay, yeah, can you see the question one more time? Which is annoying. Yeah. Which ring announcer sent an audition video for Tough Enough and it was then aired on a 2001 episode of SmackDown? Oh God! Ring announcer? Mm -hmm. My, I, I don't have a. I mean, my only guess would be Justin Roberts, but I don't know. Is that your final answer? Uh, if he thinks that, I'll, I'll go with it. Justin, Justin Roberts. Roberts. Why not? Correct. So the chase. Oh, <laughs> <once ever. laughs> oh thank God you I'm gonna go Josh Matthews. 
Yeah, I thought it was Josh Matthews, but I can't. No, it's in Justin yeah. Roberts. Wow. It's, it's quite funny, really actually. <laughs> um, the time should resume. Now, who won the faction of the year 2021 in the PWI Awards? In our circle. Correct. Who was the longest WWE Heavyweight Championship reign in history? Uh, Bruno San Martino. Correct. How many wins did The Undertaker have before the streak was ended? Uh, 21. Great. Who walked out to Bad Reputation by Joe Jett? Ronda Rousey. Great. What was the first WWE event headlined by a women's match? Uh, Hell in a Cell. Great. Who was the first superstar to cash in midway through a match? Uh, Seth Rollins. Correct. Unfortunately, Scott, you've not been able to chase them down. Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> so close. So close. That means that we have some winners taken home for the kitty of £770. Plus, unfortunately, Scott, you have to relinquish your quiz showdown championship. Oh, Contestants, how do you feel about that? Confetti! Confetti and everything! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I thought, he, I thought he had it, so I'm like, oh, damn, we're done. We're screwed. I, I think, I think, uh, I think uh, I... if he didn't get the announcer question and the thing had to stop, I was counting going, he is going to do this in record time here. <laughs> Oh my god, he's firing through them. Yeah, I was gonna say, can I do away when time went out? Uh, I was gonna say, could one I uh, get my do a John Terry and put on my jersey and like, yes, join us. Don't forget <laughs> the shin pads. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Uh... Oh, oh god, Jack and Victor have beaten the low bank lovely. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. So we are back here with Quiz Showdown coming soon next. Next time is going to be a tag team special edition sponsored by Theodore Long. I don't know if it is actually sponsored by Theodore Long, but I thought I'll just throw that in. So all I've got to say is say goodbye to everyone. So goodbye. Hold on, hold on a minute. Hold on here. No, no, we're not ending it like that. Not, not bad enough. I, keep, I fell one bloody short and had to give up my Quiz Showdown today, which I'll get back very soon by the way but i should say i heard daniel do this talk oh we're going to debut tag team quiz showdown titles next time around and so in the meantime while i'm without one quiz showdown title i think it's only fair i get to come on next time and win another make even more history in the world of quiz showdown and i gotta think who is worthy in the world of esr to be my tag team partner who can stand next to me and hold his own in the world of trivia and as much as in some ways it pains me to say, but in other ways, you know what? It's about time this guy got his due. He gave me more of a uh, fight than any of you did. I uh, include tonight. I have no memory of that, even though it just happened. I won! <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> so I am putting a appeal out here. If he won't answer his phone, hopefully he'll be watching this on YouTube. David Hockney, please, as a fellow Titan of ESSR, please join me and making fools of all these people and becoming one half of the first ever quiz Fortune showdown tag team champions. <laughs> and if your grand are back, this isn't concerning you. <laughs> well, yeah, no, hold, hold on, hold on. If we're throwing out, if we're throwing out, you know, hey, come be my friend, come be my tag partner. Well, then I've already beaten one egghead with Chris <laughs> by my side. I'd like to slap about you and your chosen lackey so i tell you what chris why don't we come back next time and we'll do this all over again we've taken one title for him we'll take two titles for him <laughs> you, you know let, let's talk let's talk ross let's talk yes, yes, let's <laughs> let's negotiate the split of that chase money oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, Andy, i'm the... sure i'm sure someone will want to play with you <laughs> so I play. With, I play with myself. Okay. Wait, I wait don't know if I like it. Uh, Chris, can I give you a heads up? If you're doing a business negotiation with Ross, if you feel something that is like a wet sausage, it's not a wet sausage. <laughs> Duly noted. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh. Anyway, folks, with that, I think we should say goodbye before the internet literally froze us off. So a huge thank you to The Chaser, Scott, our uh, contestants, Andy, Chris, and Ross, and our producer in the wings, Daniel. So thank you all very, very much for coming and through. thank you to our host for today, our MVP, Kwaku Aji. Thank you very much. I, I just turn up in a suit and I spit a lot. That's all I do. I've <laughs> sat front row. I can confirm that happens. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'll let you swallow that up and I'll catch you all soon. Goodbye. <laughs>